Mr. Schroeder, there was a bit of consternation about chart uh, this week. Tell us, what is the current situation here at the ACP meeting? We uh, wanted to have a resolution on the situation in chart, and uh, this is what we uh, still want to have, and I'm convinced tomorrow we'll have a, a resolution. But the point was that there is no representative of chart present, and our ACP colleagues uh, didn't want to do anything without a representative of chart being present. They were supposed to arrive this morning. Do you know what happened to them? I can't tell you, but I think this is not um, not the point because uh, we must not uh, make our decisions uh, be dependent upon uh, the timetable of uh, of uh, this or that uh, uh, parliamentarian. I mean, we have had texts from Mali, from Chad, from Sudan, and our draft resolution covered, or may I say, uh, covers more than 80% of the original text of those three countries, so that uh, it is not even necessary for a representative of uh, Chad being present. What is the essence of the uh, resolution on Chad? The essence is that we condemn the um, the attempt to overthrow the, the government of Chad and at the same time we appeal to all sides present to uh, see to it that peace can be re-established and that the situation of the refugees and IDPs and the camps are not worsened but improved. It, it, it's all very nice and well if I may play devil's advocate but what does what is the real significance of such a resolution here at the ACP at the former colonies of the European Union? I mean, um, where should we um, issue uh, resolutions of, the, of that kind other than in a surrounding like this? It's the very place, I think, where it's appropriate to have this. A common resolution um, uh, saying that we Europeans and, uh, in this case, Africans, have to work together to alleviate the situation of the people on the ground. I mean, this is the essence of what we are here for in the ACP assembly, and this is a major part of our, of our work.